Vermont is nearing a milestone in the longtime fight against COVID-19. Our Sophia Thomas reflects on the spread and how the community is holding up today. It's hard to believe it, but we are nearly four years out from the first COVID cases in Vermont. Dr. Leah Costello with Timberlane Pediatrics says she'll never forget March 7th, 2020, the day COVID came to Vermont. The unknown was so worrisome. What is this virus? How long is it going to last? And what are we going to do about these kids? With 16 deaths that March, the Vermont Department of Health felt the pressure to take action. We were quite concerned and really gearing up, I think, for um, what whatever worst case scenario there could be. According to the New York Times and the State Health Department, Vermont saw over 150,000 cases and over 1,100 deaths. Cases spiked in the winter of 2022 with the arrival of the Omicron variant. Through it all, the medical community worked tirelessly to track cases, inform the public, treat patients, and get Vermonters back to daily life. We really could try to apply the best that public health has to offer both to educating the population at large and to doing the right thing. The thing that I really truly reflect on with COVID is just how we came together as a pediatric community. What we did here in Vermont was really exceptional. Four years later, numbers have improved. The Department of Health tracked around 254 cases last week, half that of cases this time last year. Most Vermonters are vaccinated with some 150,000 doses administered since September. For many, access to COVID health care is life changing. I have a compromised immune system in my home and having those things available at our fingertips is great. Despite the immense progress, COVID is still packing a punch. 28 people died in January, the highest count in months, and there are lingering effects like long COVID and mental health issues. We don't want people to just sort of say, we made it through the pandemic and I no longer have to worry about COVID because there are things we're still paying attention to. Though COVID cases are low right now, doctors say it's still just as important to stay up to date on your vaccines, isolate when feeling sick or when you've been exposed. Reporting in South Burlington, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.